All right, so we're here today. Season I'll opener. Well, season opener, Lock you City. You, when you intro, you guys are Lock on you. That, but that's your style. All right, so, let, so let's start over. No, I was just saying, can you that on? I'm we want to start over here. all in there now. It's all straight. Let's go. We at Lock City. Go. We ain't going to start over. We're going to get a raw footage. <laughs> all right, raw footage time. So we're here. We got some buzz here. We're not drifting today because we're not ready. Um, my car barely has an engine in it. Yours? They don't run. I'm still waiting on parts. Nah, I just got to put my harness in and it runs again. But... Dude, I got all my parts. They're just sitting on the table. Well, the winter don't help either. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. You need that warm weather motivation. Yeah, and then I'm working on the garage stuff too, so I got yeah, it. I, I got issues. I got issues. You got issues. You got issues. We all got, we all, issues. We all got issues. So, all right. First, I would like to show you this is FC over here. It's nice. It's nice. Uh, I only have an AFR gauge. Yeah, so you're stuck. Except for my gas gauge. All right, guys. I'm here with, I'm here with Mikey's. He's out here today at Black City drifting, and his FC, nice, nice FC, and we're just gonna go through it and see for all you people out there who want to drift FCs, you know, and um, are thinking about it, and, and get a couple points. All right, Mikey. So what's going on? How you doing? How you doing today? I'm good, man. I'm good. Driving pretty okay. The car feels fucking solid, and honestly, couldn't be happier. Cool. So, like, tell us, like, for as a drifting wise. What have you done with your car to be able to drift well, or what do you recommend, or, or too much like, or do you, or do you suggest like I heard you, you talking talking to the to the other guy about you know just go with it as it is. Yeah. So my biggest thing, or I guess my philosophy for any driving in general, is just to go out and do it. Yeah. Uh, if your car works, if it runs, just fucking send it. Um, this is a S5 naturally aspirated 13B. Uh, apparently it has a half bridge port, but that was from the previous owner who was told by one person who was told by another. So who knows if it really does have a port on it. Um, as you can see, it's a stock intake, stock exhaust. I modified the axle back, but other than that, it's just basic cooling mods and making sure I pre-mix because I deleted my OMP and the engine runs great. Uh, yeah. And if you say rotaries are unreliable, I have no idea how many miles are on this engine and trans, and it's been drifted by at least three or four other people before me. So there you go. It still rocks. Yep. <laughs> so. There you go, but it's nice. Last year it was white. This year he's got to paint it. You know, it was... Yeah, I already got a few battle scars. The track was a nice little cold this morning. So. Yeah, but well, it's getting warmer now, so your second run should probably be yeah. a, yeah, a little bit better. Yeah, you know? that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. Uh, I've been driving really good, trying to get bumped up to the next skill group, and uh, you know, hopefully that happens today or happens next month. Uh, my car is fantastic. It's never let me down, and you know, it's I think I have one of the coolest FCs out here, so. I think so, too. I would agree with that. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate <laughs> that, yeah, hell yeah. Uh, yeah, it was white a couple of weeks ago, and then uh, my buddies asked me to join their drift team, and when I said yeah, they said, fuck it, let's paint the car. Yeah. Uh, I already, at that time, I already had a new body kit. I was planning on respraying it white, and then when I joined the team, uh, I guess we decided that we wanted to do matching colors or something along the lines of that. And uh, yeah, we ended up doing all the body work and paint ourselves, and. Outside of the battle scars that I acquired this morning, uh, I think it came out fucking fantastic. Um, yeah. My car is pretty much it looks stock, good, man. So it looks good. Yeah, I appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Kind of, I know you gotta head up to there yeah. and start drifting again. Yes, sir. But, but we look forward. I'm just trying to see if I can um, get some action too. Yeah, so. very, hell yeah, man. Right. If you wanna come out for a ride along, let me know. Oh, thanks. All man. Right. Yes, yeah. sir. Thank you. This year. Uh, this will be my first event for the year, but I've already, I'm already planning on going out to. Um, Lebanon Valley up in New York. Okay. Um, upstate New York. Yep. It's like towards the Albany area. Uh, those guys are fucking fantastic. I've only done a couple events there, but super nice people. The track is basically a skid pad and it's kind of sketchy. Mm -hmm. There's a section of it that's kind of like rough, like this pavement here. Yeah. And it's really fun. Okay. Like it's super sketchy because it's super fun because it's super sketchy. Uh, <laughs> It's a risk factor. That makes yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, but they're really cool guys out there too. You know, they're always supporting. You know, giving tips, and they're really there to like party and have a really good time. They're, I think, one of the truest definitions of like just grassroots drifting here in the U.S. Yeah, I like. I think like um, 
with me, I was trying to find a motorsport that I can afford and get into, mm -hmm. you know. And then I came to one to one of these events last year. Um, I think that's the one that 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 I met you at, and I saw like at my church, and I was like, I was like, you know what? I'm like, this place is actually fun as hell. <laughs> I was like, I think I can do this. Yeah. So I, then I started I started looking for a, like a budget car to go with. I wanted to do an FC, but the G35 came up. I only had to pay like pay like two grand for that. Yeah. So. I'm like, so that's what it is then, that's you know? A, that's an awesome car to learn in, yeah. you know? It, it's a very easy chassis. It's got good power. It handles well. Coilovers and a welded diff, you know? And then you're basically yeah. golden to go. And then, you know, you can add angle mods as you progress as a driver and things like that. What made it hard when I got this FC is that it was basically drift ready. You know, mm -hmm. it had really shitty coilovers on it, but the diff was welded. Um, it didn't have a bucket seat at the time. It just had the OEM seat and no steering wheel. Yeah, uh, and, and just the OEM steering wheel, but okay. it had a it had a, a makeshift angle mod kit, um, just cut knuckles, modded lower ball uh, lower ball joints, mm -hmm. or, or just ball joints in general, I guess, uh, modded ball joints and uh, just um, some outer tie rod ends. Okay, and I, I think it made it really hard for me to because I've never drifted before um, to learn because as soon as I would go to throw the car, mm -hmm. one I would either be understeering, but if I wasn't understeering. I would just be over rotating so much. Yeah. I just like wouldn't know what to do with my hands, kind of deal. Um, and you know, I, I've I've just dealt with it, and I'm learning to drive with an angle kit. Okay. You know, when most people learn how to drive without one in the very beginning. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what um I had asked a couple of people too. I, I, I like, should I get an angle kit now or should I wait? And they're all like, wait until you get used to, you know, driving without the angle kit yeah. first, just to, just to learn. Yeah, definitely. You know. Um, a lot of people will say that you, you want to mod the car as you progress, and, and one unfortunate thing that happens is folks get a 240 or whatever car of their choice, and then they instantly gut it, they try to put a cage in it, and then it's all these crazy angle mods, mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, the latest and greatest of everything, I have to have this, I have to have this, you know, I have to have that, you know, it needs to be this way because I saw Ryan Turk do it, or I saw yeah. Travis Pastrana do it, or, or, you know, Jimmy Oaks, or, you know, whoever else is, you know, you know, Curl lifestyle Tony, you know, like I gotta have that, I gotta have that, I gotta have the one J or like whatever it is. And that's all cool and all. If that's what you want and you can afford it, but if you overbuild the car, you will never outdrive the car. The car will always outdrive you, in my, gotcha. in my personal opinion. Yeah. Some people have a natural talent when it comes to motorsport, you know, and good on them. Um, but I think for like just the most common folk, I think if you can, if you want to get into it, you just buy something you can afford mod it when you can afford it or if you need to mm -hmm. because you are over progressing the car then that's it essential mods bucket seat and steering wheel first essential mods for sure for sure Guys, guess who I ran into? What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Long time no see on the channel, huh? Yeah, back with Mason over here at Lock City. Yes, sir. So we're both on the sidelines, but that's okay. Cause we're getting ready. <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting, getting ready, bro. When we get back at it, we'll be drifting. Uh, I don't know when you got. Uh, I'm, I'm trying for maybe like midsummer. Midsummer, cool. Yeah, yeah. Cause I got like all my parts and stuff like that, but it's just that um, I'm trying working to... on, on the garage right now too. Yeah, you know, yeah. and so trying to find the time to throw it all together. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the worst when you try to when you have everything right there and you just yeah. gotta put it together. That's the worst. I hate yeah. that feeling. It's like I'm ordering parts and it's all just sitting on my table, <laughs> sitting. And it's, and it's, it's just accumulating, and I'm like, hey, I got all these parts. You know, I'm like, but I can't, I don't have the room because everything's pulled out because I'm, I'm doing all, all, all the walls and everything like that, and yeah. I got to paint it. I know so, you, told, you told me about how it's kind of like old and stuff. You're trying to re, like put yeah, it back together. Yeah, know? but I'm almost there. I'm almost done. I'm Hell almost yeah, done, dude. So. I'm excited for it. I'll be here next event driving with the FRS. Uh, nice. I know the last time I was on the channel, I was working on the 24ASX. Yep. Um, right now, that's put it to the side, uh, saving up some money to go put into it. And uh, 
And then yeah, once that's once in the meantime, I'll be drifting FRS. I got some BC racing coilovers. I just installed them, and I think my video will be up by the time he puts his on. Cool. Uh, cool so yeah. so when he puts up this this video, you can check out my channel. My coilover video will be up. Yep. So. Check him out because he's got a his new garage now. Yeah, big oh, big yeah. place, yeah, you know. Keeping big. his boys. Yes, sir. You no. Know, get us all get us all cool, you know. Yeah, absolutely, man. But all right. I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Keep it on yet. Get <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, man. That. They're out with Mikey was was was, was cool. Yeah, you know? nah, Mikey was doing down. For yeah, real. yeah, I'm not getting you in the shot. Though. I'm trying to get him in there. Try to get him in there. Trying to him in there. Like, we in this. You know, <laughs> but we gonna catch some more action on top of the hill. Yeah, and go from there. Be right back. Check that. Check that. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. 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 That's nice. White right body. Oh, I saw this car before. Let's see if we still got it. Almost. I'm tired already. <laughs> tired already? Yes, I'm tired already. We kids no more. No, I'm messing with my sneakers. <laughs> I will be. <laughs> No, that was just a trailer. So, long day, fun day. About to head out. Seems short now that's done. Does I don't yeah. Well, I guess me because I got up early, and then I, I like a lot of gag to get here. <laughs> but yeah, so Jamal's gotta have his video of a cinematics. We got the vlog going here. We be back on back on task. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and then after that, I guess. I guess we we'll be hitting up the G35. Cause I got, I really got to, I really got to get to that in the Beamer. <laughs> I really got to get on that. But so we're gonna end it right, end it right there. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, for all you new, all you new viewers, thank you for joining us. And that's it for today. Yes, sir. Peace. Out. That's nice. Huh? Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up.
up, I'm with the gang, we taking shots off the rebound. Fucking my post, this ain't now. I've been humble too long, yeah. Tell them all to stay calm, yeah. Tell them all to move.